Hello, guten Tag, or good night, and welcome to another lighting tutorial. In tonight's video, I want to talk to you about bicolor lights and how we can use white balance to create different lighting scenarios, like faking a moonlight or a sunset, for example. So I'm going to have three different looks for you that I created here in my studio. Number one is going to be daylight, and this is what you're looking at right now, and it should look like there is light coming in from the outside and everything is being lit by the sun. Then scenario number two will be the same kind of scenario, but with a sunset feeling and everything will be a lot warmer. And then in scenario number three, I'm going to show you how we can create a night scene, me being lit by artificial light indoors and then moonlight spilling in. Before we start, let's talk about the setup that I have here and all the lights that I'm using. For my key light, I created a book light with a Nanlite Forza 500B2. And if you're interested in how I created the book light, what a book light actually is, then let me know down in the comments below and I can make a dedicated video just on this technique. As my second light, I have a Nanlite Pavotube 32C and this one sits on the windowsill and shines in the light that looks like it's daylight because well there's a window and this is where the motivation is coming from. To sell this look even further I also set up a Nanlite 60B2 with a spotlight mount and I put in some gobos and a gobo is this little metal plate that kind of fakes different kind of patterns and in my case I chose a window pattern that looks pretty similar to my actual window. On camera right, we have another Nanlite Pebble Tube, and this acts as a rim light for me. And then to just sell the look even more, we have another CUB light that is just bouncing off the ceiling and just raises the ambience level in the room to not create these harsh shadows on the wall, for example. And the great thing about all of these lights is that they are by color. So they range from 2700 Kelvin to average 6500 Kelvin. So we can manipulate the white balance to create different looks. I believe all of the Nanlite lights that I'm using also have something that's called a GM function. At least the Forza 500 and the Pavotubes have it. And this is really cool when it comes to using white balance as well, but I will talk about this later in the video. All of the lights, my key light, the rim light, all of the lights in the background, as well as the ambient light, are all set to 5600 Kelvin right now. Because we want to sell the illusion of the room being lit by the sun coming through a window. And sunlight is roughly around 5600 Kelvin in white balance. Therefore, I also set the white balance of my camera to 5600 Kelvin to match all of my light sources and therefore creating a neutral white look. To give you a feel for what all of these lights are doing, I'm going to turn them all off and then I'm going to turn them on one by one. So now with that light setup, we achieved a somewhat realistic night for day because as you've seen before, it's pitch black in here and also on the outside. And this is also why I angled the camera the way that I did to not show the window because that would be a dead giveaway of it actually being night outside and there's no sun coming in. And since we're on the fourth floor, I can put a light outside to just shine through the window, which I would have preferred if I had the option. But again, it's quite hard. What if you wanted to have a warmer look with a sunset feel to it? How would we achieve this? The first thing I'm going to do is to change the color temperature of both of the lights that simulate the window from outside. And that is the power tube on the windowsill, as well as the Nanlite Forza 60B with the spotlight mount. And I set both of these lights to 2700 Kelvin, which is really warm because I really want to sell the look. And it's not always about being 100% accurate or realistic, as long as you can sell it. As a next step, we're going to adjust all of the other lights in the room. All of the other lights in the room I set to 4500 Kelvin. Why didn't I put them to 2700 Kelvin? Well, first of all, the entire image would look kind of boring because it would be just warm. And second of all, it wouldn't even be realistic because even if there's really warm sunlight spilling in, it would bounce off the white walls and therefore make it a lot brighter and cooler as well. I also dimmed down the ambient light that is illuminating the corner in the background because sunset isn't as strong as daylight at noon, for example. So now we created this really warm sunset look and you can play around with color temperatures. You don't have to set the same values and it's not an exact science because like I said, 
light is bouncing off other surfaces and therefore changing the color temperature. So play around and see what actually looks best to you. The third look that I'm trying to create is me sitting in here being illuminated just by the ceiling lights and moonlight spilling in. The first thing we're going to do to sell this look is we're going to turn on the practical lamp in the background. Now we have light motivation because if there's one practical in the background there might be more practicals around the room and this is where our light source is coming from so now we're going to match it. The color temperature of tungsten light is usually around 3200 Kelvin. So the first thing I did is I set my key light to 4000 Kelvin. Again why not to 3200 Kelvin because it is spilling off white walls and therefore does make it a bit cooler. I also did the same with the ambient light. The rim light coming in from camera right I actually did set to 3200 Kelvin because we want to have it look like it's directly coming from the practical lamp in the background. Now our entire image looks a bit muddy and it also doesn't make any sense that our fake window in the background is still as warm because it's night outside and there is no sunset and there wouldn't be any motivation coming from the outside that is as warm that would create this pattern. So in order to create fake moonlight we're going to make it a lot cooler. So in order to sell this, I set the power tube that is sitting on the windowsill as well as our Forza 60B2 to 6500 Kelvin. So why did I set our fake moonlight cooler than our sunlight? Because technically moonlight is just the sunlight reflecting off the moon. And technically moonlight isn't as cool as 6500 Kelvin, but our eyes perceive it that way. And why is it a little bit more difficult and technical? And to really dumb it down, basically our eyes change when it's night outside and they kind of turn into this little bit of night vision where we perceive colors differently than during the day. It has to do with the receptors in our eyes and they switch around at night and I watched a really interesting video about this the other day and I will link it down in the description below. So now our scene looks a lot more like I'm being lit just by practicals that are around the room and there is moonlight spilling in from the outside. If I wanted to make the look more interesting, more realistic, I would have had a splash of light onto me that is also 6500 Kelvin to sell the illusion of there being another window that I'm being lit with partially, but this is just a demonstration purpose, so again, take it for what it is. Those are just some examples of how we can use bicolored lights to create different lighting scenarios. But they're also more powerful, especially when they have the GM function that I mentioned earlier. Let's say you're shooting in an office building and the office is being illuminated by fluorescent lights on the ceiling. Most of these fluorescent lights are daylight balanced at around 5600 Kelvin. So we can take our lights and match it at 5600 Kelvin. Unfortunately, the fluorescent lights in the ceiling are not made for filmmaking, but they're pretty cheap and they're made for just, well, lighting an office space. So if we now set our key light to 5600 Kelvin, we match the color temperature, but we didn't match the tint. So we will have a mismatch and very likely our background will be either too magenta or too green. And with the Forza 500B2 as well as the power tubes, we can actually fight this. And this is with a GM shift. So we can actually shift the tint to either magenta or green to match our surrounding lights. So if you're shopping for bicolored lights and you really want to have all the functionalities, then look for the GM shift function. And again, most of my NAND light lights have this. And if you're interested, I will put a link to all of the lights that I'm using in the setup down in the description below. There you have it. This was a small lighting scenario tutorial on how to use bicolored lights to create different lighting scenarios. I hope you liked this video and if you did then please give it a thumbs up and I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. It's free because it really helps the channel out. And if you want to see a behind the scenes of a commercial shoot that we had the other day, then check out the video right here.